Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a closer look at arrays and what you can do with arrays. So I'll just go ahead, or not arrays, array lists, my bad. We'll go ahead and go to new project. We'll shrink this down a little bit. We'll select Windows Forms application and we will title it array lists. Go ahead and hit OK and wait for that to load. So we're just going to go ahead and add two things to our form. We will add a button and a list box. Now the list box, we're just going to use that to print out the items in our array. So um, in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing more on the code and not the form. So I'll shrink that down and we'll set some names for this and then we'll be done uh, with the form. So we'll go ahead and set the name of listbox1 to list array list and we'll set the name for button1 to button list items and we will set the text to um, display array list. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and view the code for display array list. And so we created an event that will run whenever button list items is clicked. So let's come up here and we will create an array list. So let's go ahead and type private. And now we're going to have to set a name for our array list. So we'll just call it um, my array list as. And then we'll use the new keyword to create an object of array list. So now that we have an array list, let's go ahead and add something to it. So we can do this by using the add um, sub. So we'll just type my array list dot add. Then we'll go ahead and add an integer 10. Now let's go ahead and cut that and we'll double click on form one. So when the form one loads, it will add this to my array list. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this white space right here. So we can also add strings to my array list. So my array list dot add hello and let's close that before we're done. And then we can add uh, decimals to it too. So my array list dot add ten point or one point three four. So if we come up here and click button list items. Uh, let's go ahead and add some code that will display all this stuff in my array, my array list. So we'll just use a for each loop here. So for each item as string in my array list, go ahead and do this. Now you don't always have to use the name item, that's just what I'm using. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And we use type string in here because we're going to be converting each one of these to a string before we print it out inside of our list box and then in my array list. So we'll type list array list dot items dot add and we're going to put item dot to string. So it will convert 10 to a string, it'll convert hello to a string which is already a string and it'll convert 1.34 to a string. So let's go ahead and run this and whoa there. If we click display array list we get 10 hello and 1.34. So this is just how you add stuff to array lists um, of any data type you want. You could even do it of objects of classes, structures, um, enumerations, whatever you want you can add to your array list and ha it has no bounds. Now you can set bounds and we're going to be learning about that in the next tutorial. So um, practice a little bit with array lists and once you've got those down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and we're going to be learning more about what you can do with array lists. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.